Hey guys, it's Jamie, bringing you another episode of Recovery Inspired Hope. Make sure that you subscribe to Jamie Tall on YouTube. So today is September 2nd, so we are celebrating Recovery Month, and that is just so exciting for us to have a whole month to celebrate how we have gone from death to life. So July 20th, um, 2015 is my birthday, we call it, in recovery. So that is the day that I threw my hands up and surrendered and said, God, I give up. Um, pretty much, I woke up every day pissed off that I woke up and went and checked myself into a 12-month program. It is so amazing today, five years later, the new life that I have. Unbelievable, unimaginable. I went from being homeless and hopeless to full of joy with so many blessings. Today, what I wanna to talk to you about is three keys to sobriety. So the first one I wanna to talk to you about is connection, number one. So back in my active addiction, I was always by myself. It was like such a lonely life, a lonely and purposeless life. And when I kept trying during that period of using to quit, I always tried to do it by myself. And what I found when I came into recovery is that connection is the opposite of addiction. And it is so important to be connected, whether that be with a, a home group, if you do meetings, could get connected with a home group, create a network of people. If you're doing it through a church, do that. Whatever your avenue is, whatever pathway is working for you, if it's working out at a gym, if it's running, stay connected with people who are on the same path as you. When I came into recovery, I moved into a house with 12 girls. But you know what the beautiful thing was? We were all on the same path trying to get our lives together, trying to be reunited with our children, trying to make something of ourselves. So that's number one, connection. Number two is spirituality or faith. So they told me when I came in that I had to put my trust in something greater than myself. And it was so hard for me to trust anything or anybody. So it took a lot of work. It doesn't happen overnight. But if you just will find something, something greater than you, for me, I put my faith in Jesus Christ. But not everybody is uh, takes that pathway, and that's fine too. But whatever it is, spirituality is key in recovery. We have to have a spiritual transformation, a spiritual awakening as such. And we do this through finding something that is loving, that is caring, that is directional, that will give us wisdom, that will um, be for us. And we put our trust in that thing, whatever it is. If you're in early recovery, it could just be your sponsor. It could just be the meetings that you attend. Um, it could be anything, as long as it's something greater than you. So the third one is testimony, or we say carrying the message. For me, you know, I can do that through service. I can do that through just talking to people, you know, like talking to people that you meet as you go, as you go, sharing your testimony, carrying the message that recovery is possible, that there is hope that you don't have to stay in the hopeless, desperate situation anymore, that there is a new life waiting for you if you will just push through and trust that you deserve to have a good life. And even if you can't believe that you're worth it yet and that you deserve it yet, believe the connections of the people around you, of your network, your friends that will love you until you can love yourself. 
There is hope in recovery. Recovery is possible. I am living proof. And I hope that this message encourages you. Make sure that you guys are sharing for recovery month. This is such an exciting month. I have some great interviews coming up. I have so many good things. And um, it's just going to be so awesome that we as a recovery community are able to celebrate. This is our month. It is our month celebrating our new lives in recovery. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jamie Tall, and I will see you next time.